Hi, it's Vicky here and today I will be showcasing the September card kit by Simon Says Stamp. So before I go on with uh, the cards, uh, first of all let's take a quick look on uh, what's inside the card kit. Of course you can find your uh, lollipop and uh, then there is uh, this um, stencil, the plastic knife as well as gesso, which uh, is uh, very useful for many techniques and I will be showcasing a couple of them today. There is also this uh, bag full of uh, acetate cards. These are uh, mainly used for uh, Project Life where you put them as, a filler, as filler cards inside the, those pockets. But I am going to show you how amazing those are for creating um, shaker cards. As always, the kit includes a number of 6x6 pattern papers and uh, this month they are really colorful and playful and as you can see they are double sided. I am quickly browsing through them so you can take a look. And as always there is a clear stamp set. This is uh, birthday themed with uh, balloons, little hearts and uh, bits and pieces. And uh, finally there is cardstock in different colors that uh, match perfectly your pattern paper. So today I am going to create three different cards so I can give you uh, ideas and inspiration on how you can use the kit. First of all, I'm going to use this pattern paper which was in the kit and I'm going to cut out a rectangle. Now, you can always use your paper trimmer to cut it out, but I decide to use uh, this uh, stitched uh, uh, die because it gives a nice finish since it has a nice stitching all around this panel. And uh, since today I am going to create three different cards, I am going for quick and easy cards. So first of all I will be using uh, the bigger balloon with the outline and I am going to use uh, black ink and I am looking for a pattern paper that I can use for my balloon. So I decided to go with this pattern paper and I am going to stamp the ba balloon over the area that says love and it has that uh, cute little heart. I am going to use my scissors to cut out the balloon and I am going to repeat the process with a smaller balloon on another area. And while I'm doing that, just to let you know that uh, there is a giveaway on my blog, so if you want a chance to win this uh, September card kit by Simon Says Stamp, make sure to visit my blog, read there all the instructions to enter your uh, details on the giveaway. If you are watching on YouTube, then you can find a link directly to that post just below in the details area. After cutting out both my balloons, I am going to stamp the sentiment and uh, in the stamp set I, there is a sentiment that says let's celebrate, so I have decided to go with that, which I am going to white emboss on uh, the very top of my panel. Now the top of the panel is qu quite darker than the bottom, so I can uh, use white embossing powder. I am stamping with my Versamark ink, which is just a sticky ink, and I am applying my white embossing powder, which uh, I am now going to heat set with my heat gun. Now that I have the sentiment in place, I can decide where the balloons are going to go and I am going to make a tiny little mark with uh, my pencil so I know where I can uh, stamp my strings. In the stamp set there is a big line that can, you can use as a string for the balloons and I am going to stamp uh, twice to create the strings. Uh, there is also a nice little bow uh, which I am going to stamp as well on top of those uh, strings. Now I'm using a uh, foam tape at the back to add uh, a little bit of uh, dimension on the balloons and I'm placing them close to each other, overlapping one another. This is going to create uh, an interesting uh, layout. And now I am going to stamp the bow. I am going to stamp it on both of those uh, strings. So now this, uh, all that's left to do is to stick that on top of a standard card, but uh, just to make it more interesting I decided to use the gesso and uh, the stencil that was included in the kit. This is going to uh, create an interesting background for my card, so all I do is uh, just using the spatula with the gesso and going all over the stencil. I mainly focus on uh, the edges since uh, you won't be able to see the center of uh, the card base. Of course you can do this uh, technique with embossing paste or uh, modeling paste, but uh, if you don't happen to have uh, those two products, then you can always use gesso to do that. Especially this type of gesso works great with stenciling because it's quite thick. 
While other types of gesso that are quite liquid, like the Faber-Castell one for example, it wouldn't work since it's uh, very liquid and it will go under the stencil. So you can see what a nice uh, white on white embossed effect I have. I can now stick the panel at uh, the center of my card base. I am going with foam tape at the back just to add a little bit of dimension. And uh, that uh, finishes my first card. You can see close up photos of this card at the end of the video. So now let's move on to card number two. The kit comes with those uh, beautiful acetate cards that are 4x3 and I just cannot resist uh, using some of them to create some shaker cards. So I'm going to show you uh, two easy ways to use them. First of all I'm going with this blue one and I decided to create a frame out of this pattern paper from the kit. So I'm using uh, two of those stitch dies, one inside the other, which are going to cut out a frame with my die cutting machine. Those uh, dies are uh, uh, by Simon Says Stamp and they are the stitched rectangle dies. So I have cut out uh, the frame now and you can see how nice and colorful it is. And again, in case you don't have uh, those uh, rectangle dies, you can always use your uh, craft knife or your uh, paper trimmer to create your frame. So I am adding uh, some tape adhesive at the back of my frame and I'm going to stick the acetate. Now always make sure that uh, you keep um, attention to the front and the back of your acetate so that you have the walls facing uh, the correct way. I am using my foam tape at the back and I am going to create a wall all around the edge so I can add my confetti inside. For my confetti I am using uh, this... Um, by Martha Stewart, which was uh, included in a previous kit by Simon Says Stamp. I love this confetti because uh, the colors are really wonderful and sparkling and uh, they have little uh, stars, little hearts, it's uh, really beautiful. You can see some close-up photos of what's inside that window at the end of uh, the video. So now I'm peeling off uh, my tape adhesive and I'm going to stick a white paper for the background. For my card base, I am going to create a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I have picked up one of the cardstocks from the kit, cut it out at uh, four and a quarter, and now I'm going to use my Martha Stewart uh, scoring board to score it at five and a half. So I have a standard uh, top folding card, and uh, this is where I can stick my a frame. Now just to make it uh, more interesting I can use gesso again and I'm going to show you another technique. I'm just uh, going to thin it with water and then with a small brush I am going to add some splashes on my card base. I don't need too many but uh, these are going to create an interesting background. Also don't forget to add some splashes on the inside of the card for a nice uh, uh, matching uh, look. So now, once this is uh, dry I can uh, use my tape runner at the back of my window and stick it at the center of my card. And this finishes the second card for today. And you can find close-up photos of this card at the end of the video. So let's move on to the third card. For my third card I'm going to use this beautiful acetate and create another shaker card. This time I have created the frame out of white cardstock just like I did with uh, those dies for the second card. And I'm going to stick it at the back so I have my window ready. And I can go ahead and do the frame all around with foam tape. And I have picked up uh, one of those pattern papers from the kit and I have cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is going to cover up the whole front of a card base. The card base that I have created is out of the white cardstock that was in the kit. And now I need to find bagging for my window. I have decided to go with this cardstock from the kit because uh, as you can see behind that uh, window it perfectly matches the colors of the pattern paper. So I am going to use uh, a die to cut it out. I am adding some sequins. These are silver but they will not show as silver at the end. Just because the acetate window is uh, colored, both uh, my backing paper as well as uh, the silver sequins will not show up with their true color. But this is exactly what I was going for since now it perfectly matches my background paper. 
So I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back of my window and then stick it at the center of uh, my card. So all that's left to do now is to add uh, my sentiment and I am going to be using this uh, Hello die which is from an older uh, Simon Says Stamp card kit. I've used white cardstock to cut it out and I'm going to poke out all those uh, little areas and then I can uh, use my glue to stick it on the window. And uh, this finishes the third card for today. And here are all three cards together and I hope I gave you some ideas on how you can use the supplies included in the kit. Don't forget to visit my blog and enter the giveaway for a chance to win this September card kit by Simon Says Thumb. Here are some close-up photos of all the cards that I made today. I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. For more inspiration you can click any of the videos on screen right now or if you are watching from a mobile device then you can find links to those videos just below in the details area or you can click the info card that just popped on your screen. Thank you all for watching!